is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have some brand new elite figure images for you guys we have some elite 66 figures in the house guys so we can go ahead and dive straight in as you can see first we have both versions of kevin owens so kevin owens is going to be the chase variant in this set so i honestly do not know which one is which i think the one that has the uh fight anyone on it the blue one is going to be the regular version and then the ko mania 3 the wrestlemania what is it 34 or 33 it's i think it's 34 attire will be the chase variant version so i guess uh i wish they would have done this with a different superstar which i'll get into in just a second but i still like kevin owens the more the merrier i was gonna i already have the fight anyone attire a custom i have a custom of that on my shelf um, but I do not have the uh, KO Mania 3, and I was going to make a custom of it, but now, since we're getting it, I guess I don't have to get it anymore, so that's actually very good, but KO looks great. I love the head scan. I like the Yep, Yep, Yep shirt. You know, both of these are in the same era, um, which is kind of funny. I don't think we've seen, you know, the same figure from, you know, d these are literally like a month or two apart as far as elite figures are concerned, so that's kind of crazy there, but he is he has a great head scan, interchangeable hands as well, and Kevin Owens is looking great. The next figure that we do have, guys, is Kurt Angle. You know, we knew that we were going to be getting a Kurt Angle with these specific accessories and looking exactly like this, but uh, we didn't know what head scan it would be, and I can say that they still chose that doofus, idiot, dumb face scan for Kurt Angle, the same one we've seen with the, his basics, the same one we've seen with his battle packs, the same one we've seen with the ringside exclusive shield Kurt Angle, and they went with it again, which is just so annoying. I cannot stand that head scan, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe we can switch it with one of his basics or something. Uh, maybe the SummerSlam Heritage head would look good, or maybe the Elite 59 would look even better. But I like this figure. I like the way it looks. I love the torso choice they made. I love the uh, the new shoes that it looks like, those shoes with the paint detail. I mean, I remember his shoes looking just like that, and I believe this is from Survivor Series 2017. The raw shirt is rubber, but that's not a big deal to me. I already have multiple cloth shirts of that shirt, so... If I wanted to have it on there, I could just throw it on there, but uh, not my favorite. You know, I can't stand the red, uh, the rubber shirts, but again, not a huge, huge deal. Um, at least it's not going to hinder articulation. I think that, you know, the ab crunch is kind of hindered, but it's not a big deal. Kurt Angle is looking swell. I am uh, happy with this, and we're going to get a finger pointing hand for him for his entrance, which is a new mold, I do believe with the interchangeable hands, so those are looking great as well. One other thing that I wanted to add here is that I wish that he would have gotten the Chase variant. I wish they would have done a flashback Kurt Angle for his uh, Chase variant. I think that would have been really awesome, really sick to see. I know a lot of people would have been hyped for that out of anybody in the set because uh, everybody else really hasn't been in WWE long enough to have a flashback flashback, so I wish that uh, he would have been the guy, but you know, not a big deal. It's just something that I would have changed about this set. Next up, guys, we have our Elite Woman figure in the set, and this is our third Women Elite figure in two sets, so that's kind of insane to see, but we have Nikki Cross here, and I don't know how I feel about the head scan. I think that from the neck down, she looks really good. Um, I can still see single jointed knees, which I didn't expect to change. She comes with uh, three accessories, which will look good, I'm sure, with the entire sanity. I think that'll look really good up next to each other. But the head scan, I don't know. I feel like she should have like those big cast Elite 55 eyes. You know what I'm saying? Just like crazy. Um, I don't know. She, she sort of just looks like, I don't know. I, I really can't describe how her face looks, but it's not what you would expect for Nikki Cross. I think that she would have been better like smiling real big, like the Renee Young basic um, something like that, something like crazed sanity type look, but it's not a big deal. I still think the figure looks great, and I think she'll look great up next to the rest of Sanity. And you know, we're we're about to get Elite 65 Eric Young. It is shipping now, so hopefully, you know, we'll get her and Eric Young in here. Maybe we'll get Dane and the rest of the guys in here, and uh, we'll get to see what she looks like next up to Sanity altogether. But uh, Nikki Cross is the next one in the set. Next up, guys, we do have the Elite Bludgeon Brothers. The wait is finally over for the Bludgeon Brothers. They will be a part of Elite 66. You can see here, they look fantastic. I think that the molds they used for these are great. I think their head scans are great. Um, Luke Harper's eyes look a bit weird, but I think that'll be better in person. Uh, they come with their entrance jackets, their hammers, a slew of accessories, guys. We got the hoods. Uh, the sheep mask still comes with Rowan, you know, with the gas mask part of it coming off. Um, he even has his belt there and interchangeable hands. So I think that these guys look terrific. I think that these are excellent and easily going to be early contenders for figure of the year in 2019. And we literally just started the year. So it's going to be interesting to see if anybody can top the Bludgeon Brothers. But these are highly detailed. A lot of great things going on with these figures. I'm super excited. I think that this is easily their best elites. Even though they've had some strong ones in the past, I think that these are going to be their best ones. I really like Rowan's head scan, to be fair. Like, to be, you know... Uh, 
particular about these guys. I think his is even better. It's kind of like just, I don't know, I just think they're going to nail that, especially when we get it in the hand. I think it's going to be one of the better head skins of the year, too. So Rowan and Harper both killing it from the Bludgeon Brothers, and we're moving on to our last figure in the set, and that is AJ Styles. This isn't actually the last figure in the set. We do have one more at the end, which is a store exclusive, which we'll get into, but this is Elite 66 AJ Styles, guys. Look at what they have done here. The only way they can make this figure any better is literally just updating that torso, giving us a bigger body mold. Um, I highly doubt they do it ever just because they've went this deep with it but you can see they actually added the wristbands around for his gloves that's actually a new mold there it's actually uh i think how the ray mysterios used to be but a bit thinner and uh, he does come with interchangeable hands but it is where uh, they have added the decals to the hands of the gloves now so he can do the p1 where you put it together um, that is absolutely beautiful. I'm, I, I'm actually interested to see how that works out because he doesn't have double jointed elbows. So I don't know if you'll be able to get his hands all the way together. I feel like that's, uh, not something that'll be possible, but hopefully it is possible, and I can't wait to see what the figure looks like posed like that. You give him some accessories. He also has an inner, uh, I mean a new head scan. This is a new head scan, longer hair, um, beautiful looking head scan. I didn't know if they could top the former AJ Styles head scan, but they did. I think this is the best AJ Styles head scan. I love the look of it, the true effects getting better and better each time we get a new figure of a guy, and I love this. I think this looks fantastic, AJ Styles. Um, I said that the Bludgeon Brothers were an early contender for figure of the year. I think this one's up there too. I know that the shirt is rubber, but it's still a really good shirt. You know, we haven't seen one of these with AJ Styles, I don't believe. It's usually a vest, and we're not getting a vest. I think this is the Royal Rumble attire from 2018, and he's looking great. Even comes with the WWE Championship, and I am super duper excited for this AJ. I think it's his best elite, hands down. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see, um, again, what that's going to look like with the posed gloves out in front of him. Um, I, again, I don't think it'll make it, but I'm interested to see how the process goes there. But AJ Styles is not the last one we have in the set, guys. We're going to move into the last figure in the set, which is Elite 66 Alexander Wolf, which will be a Target exclusive, just like Pete Dunn from Elite 64, guys. Alexander Wolf will be a part of Elite 66, but he is exclusive to Target. He comes with a slew of accessories. He has like his little suspender things. He comes with his mask. He comes with his hoodie. He comes with interchangeable hands, and this figure is highly detailed too. I think that it looks great. I love his attire, how it's all kind of wacky, like Sanity usually is. And up next to Nikki Cross and Eric Young and Killian Dane, I cannot wait to see what they look like. I know that a bunch of photographers and stuff and pick fetters are going to be having these guys run wild in their feds and stuff. So it's going to be very exciting to see, you know, how everybody does um, with the full sanity together. You know, we're still waiting on, even if Elite 66 releases, we're still going to be waiting on our NXT Killian Dane. Um, I do believe he's in that set, so we're going to have to wait until we get them all in here. But that is pretty much your entire Elite 66 set, guys. Um, we have Kevin Owens, we have the Chase Variant Kevin Owens, we have the Bludgeon Brothers, Rowan and Harper, we have the AJ Styles, the brand new one, we have Kurt Angle from Survivor Series 2017, we have Nikki Cross, and then of course we have Alexander Wolf to round out our set. I think it's a pretty strong set. Um, the whole entire line is uh, current guys, not no flashbacks again. I think this is multiple series in a row now where we don't have any flashbacks, which is kind of insane. I know that a lot of people are upset because we're not getting any flashbacks, and I'm kind of on that boat a little bit. I think that if we're going to do the chase variants, I feel like they should include a flashback chase variant at least just so uh, those flashback collectors can have something to look forward to. Because if you don't watch the current product, you're probably not going to want a lot of these guys. I know that people may want Kurt Angle, or they may want AJ Styles, but I mean, for the most part, I don't think any current collector is going to want many uh, out of these new sets. But maybe they're doing better on numbers. Maybe they're selling way more because they're doing only current guys, and they know that um, maybe they sell the most because they people are actually seeing these guys on TV and stuff like that. But overall, I would love to know your guys' thoughts on Elite 66. What do do you think of the new AJ Styles head scan? What do you think of the new Kurt Angle and that doofus idiot smiling head scan? Do you wish they would have changed it? Uh, what do you think of Alexander Wolf being a Target exclusive? Are you going to be hunting down Alexander Wolf? Uh, what do you think about the Kevin Owens and the Chase variants? Which one do you like more? Do you like the KO Mania 3 or do you like the Fight Anyone? And what are your thoughts on the Bludgeon Brothers? I would love to know everybody's thoughts 
down below what you think of all the new figures, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If we get any more figure news, then I will be sure to let you guys know. I know we have another WWE action figure surgery episode coming tomorrow, so you guys can look forward to that in the morning. So definitely turn on your notification bell and everything so you guys stay notified when I upload. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.